Good morning, Internet. I thought I'd come out here and uh, talk a little bit about some of the things you can eat from your garden. What you're looking at right now are some of these uh, really interesting pink larkspur. You got the, uh, the more purple color up here in the front. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go. Uh, I'm not quite sure where these really neat pink ones came from, but they showed up in the garden this year. I'm sure they came from seeds. Uh, these are uh, from the delphinium family. These are typically just annuals, so they'll come up, look really pretty for a year, and then uh, die. Unlike the delphiniums, uh, which are a perennial, which will come back year after year. So hopefully I get a good production of seeds so I can uh, uh, have some more of these growing next year. Really quite a nice plant here for Southern Colorado. Uh, what I actually came out here to show you though was um, Let's go take a look over here. Uh, what I came out here to show you was this plant here, which you'll probably find growing in your own gardens. It's a type of uh, portulaca. It's usually called um, purslane. It's uh, pretty identifiable. You can see the, the little yellow flowers they got here. The other major identifying feature here is if you look at the leaves, they'll be, uh, they call them like stars or whorls that they grow out from the plant. The leaves themselves are also, they're like a succulent. They'll be uh, kind of thick. Oh, I could get that in front of the camera. Thick and rounded. There we go. They uh, got kind of a lemony taste. Really quite nice. Um, they're purported to have all kinds of crazy medical benefits. You know, you can take that at your own peril. Um, and uh, it's just one of those kind of neat little plants that in many other parts of the world they'll cultivate this to eat. Um, the only caution really is that it has oxalic acid. Again, I'd recommend that uh, if you're interested in actually eating these, you do a little bit of research and make sure that you're comfortable identifying these plants. The uh, Apparently they consider this other plant that I have growing right next to it, which I thought was interesting, as the poisonous look-alike. It's uh, from the family Euphorbia. It's this guy over here. Let's get a better view without me in the shadow. Okay, so you can see it growing next to it here. So this is the uh, Portulaca oleraceae, and then next to it we have this Euphorbia plant. This unfortunately is not uh, a food value plant. It's toxic. Do not eat it. Um, but for whatever reason, people think this is similar enough looking to be hazardous. The leaves are a lot thinner in this guy. Um, they don't look like succulents at all. They also have alternate leaves here, rather than the whorls that you find on this plant. Um, I generally just tend to get rid of these as I find them in the garden. No good. But this is generally considered to kind of be a weedy invasive. But I'll generally let it grow because uh, it's pretty tasty. It's good. Like I said, it's got kind of a lemon flavor. Um, 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 yeah, it's pretty good. So, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. As a thing you can harvest from your own yard. Uh, of course, assuming that you're not spraying pesticides or any of that other good stuff. Um, so we got my uh, sunflowers doing pretty good this year. We got some cosmos in front of those. Got a few different colors of sunflowers, so... Uh, once those are in, I'll hopefully get another little video or some pictures or whatnot. So have a lovely Monday.